This is a quick tutorial on how to upload documents onto your Canvas assignment. Remember this semester I want you to uh, convert almost everything into a PDF format. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up a new Google Slides or Google document and then you're going to upload your pictures to that and then download it as PDF and the PDF file is what you're going to upload. So in order to do that, here I've opened up a new Google document. All right, so I'm going to go click anywhere on the slide. I don't really need all of these things on there, but it doesn't really matter. If you wanted to change the layout of this, um, you could just click here and then click on any of the layouts. Sometimes I use blank. Sometimes I'll just do title only so that I know for myself which page I am on. So I'm going to click here where it has a little insert image picture here. Right, so I'm going to click on that. You're going to upload from your computer or your device or your Google Drive, wherever you saved your picture, I guess a camera if you're going to take it right away. But if I were you, I would definitely take the picture beforehand, check the quality of it. OK, so I'm going to upload from my computer. So I'm going to click here. I've already kind of put a couple of things that are on here and I'm going to do notes for this time around. So I'm, I've labeled it page one, two and three. So I'm going to click on page one and then go ahead and open it. Remember, that's my summary and my cost is question. But that looks pretty good. I'm only going to put two pictures max per slide. OK, on um, if it's a Google slide and uh, one to two pages max on a um, Google document. All right. So I'm going to click here and then put the second picture in there. Upload from my computer. Page two. OK, and you see it's there. All right. So I'm going to kind of drag it a little bit. All right. OK, you can make the pictures bigger. Please don't. Please don't click along the sides, like the sides or the top or the bottom. You're going to want to click from a corner so that it keeps the um, ratio because, remember, um, you don't want your pictures to be too stretched out. So same thing with this one. I'm going to hold a corner and then go ahead and make it go a little bit bigger. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. Okay, if you wanted to write me a note and type something here, you can and say, oh, you know, whatever. Okay, I had another page, so I'm going to add another slide. Okay, and in here, same thing. You could either leave the um, frames for the title and the text or not. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to insert image, upload my third page, which is my last page. So you're going to keep on doing that until you have all your pages down. What you're going to do next is, I know it says untitled presentation, but you're going to want to change that so that it has uh, whichever set of notes. So I'm going to write notes uh, chapter 12A or unit 5.1, whatever it is, you're going to want to change the file name. Okay, and then what I'm going to do after you've uploaded all your pictures and it looks good, it looks like everything's in order. Okay, then I'm going to go to file. And then I'm going to download, and you're going to download it as a PDF document right here. And that's what you are going to click. After that, it's going to ask you, hey, where do you want to save it? So I'm going to go ahead and save it on my desktop. Okay, and then see how it says there'll be um, Acrobat document. So that's where I'm going to save it. And depending on your computer settings, it may or may not open up mindset to automatically open up. I'm going to double check and make sure it uploaded everything like the way I wanted it to. Sometimes your documents are blank. OK, so you need to make sure you do this piece where you double check. So after you have saved your assignment and know where you've saved it. OK, so I'm going to go to the assignment on Canvas. Make sure it's the correct assignment. So the assignment name should be up here and the due date and the time. Make sure you pay attention to both. So after that, I'm going to double check and make sure I've read all the guidelines and did I follow all the rubrics. So go ahead and do that and click Submit Assignment. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to take me to the file upload. All right. So you don't need to worry about these ones, but you are going to do a file upload. Remember, you're going to click Choose File. And then remember, I've saved my file somewhere. Here's the one that I want to upload. So it is the PDF file. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Click Open. OK, I see that it's right here and then I'm going to click Submit Assignment. So make sure you wait to make sure that it's submitted correctly. So it says it's submitted. Um, I did this late, so it's going to say that it's uh, it's submitted late. 
Okay, I could look at the submission details. Okay, if I click on that, I'm gonna see it. You could view feedback later, which there is none right now. But if you look at this, it'll do preview of your notes. This is the file that you've already uploaded. So I'm gonna make this go down just a little bit. And then I'm gonna scroll down to make sure it uploaded exactly the way I wanted it to. So it has, so I'm gonna go ahead and click out of that. And then I could also look at the rubric. It hasn't been graded yet. So there's, it's zero out of 30 right now. So it'll have the um, score later on. You can add a comment, but I don't really check the comments until I'm actually grading it. So make sure if you set your settings on your Canvas course so that it sends you a notification when I add or grade a comment, make sure you do check that. The other way you could check and see if your assignment submitted properly is you could actually click on your assignment right here. Okay, so this is the one that you uploaded. It's gonna download it to your computer and if it downloads the way you had intended, okay, then you know I could see it. So please don't forget to actually double check and make sure that it uploaded correctly. A lot of you guys were having issues with that. So the other way that you could submit your assignments and convert, save it and convert it into a PDF is Microsoft Office. Okay, so it'll be, um, Word document or PowerPoint presentation. Same way, so if you are here, in the menu up here, it could be file, home, insert, draw, design. There's all these other features. What you're gonna do is click on insert and then you're gonna go to pictures. I'm gonna do it from this device. And again, remember, I have saved it to wherever location, so I'm gonna do, let's do a DLC. Okay, so I'm gonna insert that here. So it inserted properly, I see it, I like it. Sometimes it'll give you design ideas, you don't need to worry about that. Make sure the image is clear and that I could see everything. If you have another page to uh, another picture, then you're gonna do a new slide, do any one of those features, it doesn't really matter at this point. And same thing, I'm gonna click here somewhere, make sure you go to insert pictures from this device for me. Okay, and then I'll upload my other picture. So it looks like what I want it to. So I'm just gonna double check, go and go to file. Okay, and then save as. Okay, and then you're gonna save as whatever it is, um, wherever you want, you're gonna name it, okay, D-O-C-E. All right, I don't want it as a PowerPoint. You're gonna click on PDF and then you're gonna go ahead and click on save and it'll save it somewhere. And same thing, uploading it to Canvas is the same way, but you're going to use the PDF file that you uploaded. So while you are doing this, make sure that all the images are clear, that it's in the correct order that you want me to see the picture. Hope this was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions. You can do the same thing with Google Docs or Microsoft Word.